All right, Dan, we got a treat today. Um, Willet Small Batch Family Estate Rye. Um, picked this up when I was down in Jupiter visiting my cousin Dawn, and uh, I've mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. I've been to Willet. It's uh, uh, in Bardstown. Uh, it's it's one of the most beautiful pieces of property I've ever seen. They do a great job there. Uh, you drive up, you smell uh, the rick houses, you see all the black on the side sides of it, but the property itself is just fantastic. You tell me there's a road trip in our future. There is a road trip in our future, and we got to go to Bardstown, and then we need to go to Lexington, and then, and then obviously do Louisville, do the Bourbon, um, uh, Bourbon Row in mm -hmm. Louisville, uh, which I did, uh, go to Michter's and all that. But anyway, we're talking about Willet today. So this is a small batch. Um, it's a little proofy, uh, 110.8, a little bit of heat, 55.4% yeah. uh, 50, alcohol, uh, great bottle. Um, again, uh, let's kind of show you. Yeah, it almost looks like a wine bottle. The, the thing, I'm, I'm just inter excited. Good we there, Vogel? We, we did a review uh, previously on a different, uh, I think it was Yellowstone, and Thumbs the up. color was very, like, it's very clear almost it didn't have yeah. a it was very yellowish this has wow. a nice amber color um i'm excited to dig into this one yeah so the mash bill of this this is actually a blend of willet the high rye which is 74 uh, rye 11 corn and 15 percent malted barley mixed with the low rye um, the willet low rye and that is 51 percent rye 34 percent corn and 15 percent malted barley yeah, you're right it does have a so it's got a color. nice color and that color is going to be oh it smells good oh, yeah. uh, it's imparted it's it's aged oh, in four years man. in oak cask and what the oak does is it's a strong wood it's a pure wood it's not like pine so pine if it, if uh whiskey is matured in pine they have that resin resin good. canals that impart flavor and sometimes undesirable Look flavor Wiki. into it mr wiki i can read i can read <laughs> And uh, this oak is pure, so it has a, a nice flavor. It imparts a nice color. Oh, um, the oak is you. seasoned and has heat, uh, seasoned and heat treatments, which which uh, gives it the it gives the imparts the flavors like the, the vanilla and the coconut, yeah. or not in some coconut and also caramel. So um, yeah, so let's. So I got a ton of caramel, and out, a ton man. of sugar right off the bat, but I'm looking for that coconut you just said. It's definitely. Uh, you definitely, it's an unusual nose. It's got some floral notes. Do you get like a dusty kind of? Dusty? I mean, you should probably clean your house a little better, but. Uh, that's Vogel. Oh, you're that's Vogel. <laughs> I mean, it's very sweet. You yeah. get like, you get some. Sick, I can like, see the floral. You get some the, apple the rye, maybe? the rye floral. I'm not getting the apple. Oh, sorry, I, am well, hearing I, a, I am hearing a, a car, car alarm go off. You're in the hood here in Jack's Beach. <laughs> Jesus, where do, you, where do we film? I swear to God, you think it's a, a perfect place with car alarm. <laughs> it's just sweet. I yeah. mean, it's got a nice, smooth, caramel, sweet nose. Getting some vanilla, which you'd expect. The color is fantastic. All right, let's go for it. Cheers. And again, this is brand new open. This is the first pour. We didn't uh, open it prior to. I just taken the, the foil thing off so we didn't have to mess with it. Oh my gosh, is that sweet. It's uh, interesting. It's got a, a, on the front, very sweet, the caramel. Very but sweet. I, I, it just tastes like some apple on the front, but then on the back. Yeah, you get fruit. You That's get some sure. heat. You get I, some I heat. didn't get any heat on that one. But it's 100, uh, almost yeah. 111 proof, so you'd expect to get a little bit of, but not, a, not a, bad, little bit of a hug. But not like, not the ethanol. It was more peppery, more spicy. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, see that? <laughs> The finish is definitely rye, mm. rye spice. Yeah, Ooh. lingers, lingers. It's this it's is it's pretty good. It's good. Yeah, it's it's way better than the, the last one we yeah, had. Yeah, the last one. You know, I, I'm getting the viscosity a little bit. The, it's got a good mouthfeel. Mouth feel. Good mouthfeel. Uh, yeah, I like this one. It's light and peppery, it, which it's. A unique convert. That's a that, that's a, a unique yeah. a unique combination. Easy for me to say. Jesus. Yeah, it um, is very light. It's got a good mouthfeel, but it's not like overpoweringly oily. But you get a lot of pepper. Mm -hmm. But it's not like just ah, gas. You know, it's a it's a mm -hmm. good. It's almost like um, 
like a spice. You get like, almost like you're getting, eating some spicy food. Yeah. And you like it. It tastes good. And you feel the spice, but you're not like dying. Yeah. That oak cask really does add some toastiness and obviously the color. Um, Toasty is a good it's word. It's just, just good. Um, it's just really good. Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, I'm glad we didn't do, we did this one last. Oh, yeah, we would have ruined the first one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the first one kind of ruined one, itself on its own. Have, the first one couldn't have held up to this. So I, don't, I almost, do I, I try an ice cube in this? I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm, I might add a little more. I think it needs. Um, well, you always pour me heavy, so I don't think I need any yeah, more. I, I do pour you heavy there. It's probably a bad <laughs> thing. Yeah. All right. I'm feeling better than I did when I showed up. <laughs> Party man. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. I like this one, Ken. This, this is a keeper. It's good. I'm going to stash that one away so I don't crush it. How about I take it back to my house <laughs> no. so you don't crush it? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's too smart for me. Yeah. I, left, right, take, you, I left you the Russell's Reserve. Yeah, there's some stuff at the house I haven't drank yet. Oh, man. Ice, it didn't, try it? ice didn't ruin the nose. Right. It flattened it out a little bit, but it didn't ruin it. It's, uh, it's, it, it definitely alters the smell. Yeah. Give it a good swirl. But I think it brings out the brown sugar, the vanilla. Yeah, I mean, it didn't have... A little bit of cherry. It didn't have any hard ed edges, but it, it does kind of soften it out. Yeah, that's right, Riley. Is that Riley or the dog? That's Riley. You, it definitely brings out the brown sugar, a little bit of cherry. Yeah, I almost, I'm almost, i almost smelling even more caramel. Yeah, more caramel. A little bit of honey coming out, so I'll try it. Whatever hard, it, it, it crushes the pepper, which you'd expect. Yeah. Um, I'm getting a little more gas on it. See, I'm not getting any gas at all. I would think that, yeah. I mean... It would get you in trouble. I think if you if you were sitting outside yeah. in, in an evening, you know, mm. like hey, I'll take some Will of the State small batch on the rocks. Uh, you'd probably, you know, it proofs it down, obviously. But yeah, huh. you could you could get in trouble with that one. Yeah, I mean it's good for me. I and again maybe my palate's just off today because I drank too yeah. many uh, watermelon beers last night. I'm drinking one right now. Yeah. Uh, but I'm getting a lot of pepper with the ice in it. Are you? Yeah. See, I'm getting no pepper at all. You disagreeing um, with me, Ken? I'm disagreeing. 50-ish um, bucks uh, mm. when I got it down in Florida, uh, South Florida. Yeah, I, I'm going to say I like it more neat because you can taste the complexity. It's definitely more complex, with the, uh, which you would expect, again. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it's better neat. Um, and I think yeah. it, but, but. If you were wanted to kind of keep your wits about you and uh, uh, hang around for, for a little while, put an ice cube in there or, a, you know, a, a fancy rocks, one of those, those ball things or block things. Yeah. Um, and sip it over ice. Yeah, it, it works either way. Yeah, this one's dangerous. Uh, I'm enjoying this one, Ken. Yeah. I think it was a good call on your part. Yeah, I, 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 I do really enjoy this one. This is... Um, uh, you know, I think I, I'm, I'm interested to see this this one, un unlike the other ones where we say we're going to put air into this one. I'm actually interested to see what the yeah. air is going to do to it, um, because I think it's just going to get better. Yeah, I agree. I think very complex, very nice. It's, it's, it's got the sweetness, but also the heat, the citrus and the heat. Two things that typically you don't see a lot together. Um, they play well together. This is damn good, man. For a blend, it's, it's... It's really good. It's good. 50 bucks? Yeah. I like yeah, it. It's worth it. It's worth yeah, it. Yeah, worth it. Um, you know, and I think when I was there, I looked at it and I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't want to... And they, I think they actually used to source the rye. It used to be sourced from MGP. This is not sourced. This is distilled, mm -hmm. aged, and bottled by Willet um, on the... Uh, on the on the well oh, site good. yeah it's really good that's good uh, you know I'm, i probably should pour one more <laughs> and then we'll say goodbye to you yeah <laughs> say it's only uh not even one o'clock yeah. on a sunday <laughs> happy sunday <laughs> well night night after this uh, thank you guys for watching thank you ken for picking this one out yeah like us subscribe follow us on facebook instagram at beach show <laughs> beach, Let's go with beach side at beachside bros jacks and uh, 
<laughs> That's all I got, man. Cheers. <laughs> Dude's hurting today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.